Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. Today we're going to be speaking about a beautiful prophecy found in the book of Exodus, in Hebrew known as Shmois, the book of Shmois, Shemot, the second of the five books of Moses. This is a beautiful prophecy, and it's, it's very straightforward, it's very simple, but as we've explained in so many previous videos, that the simple is always the deepest. So basically, let's let's go right into it. This prophecy is as Yasiel Moshe Nesah and then the verse translates as saying, and then the Moses and the children of Israel will sing this song. So, as you know, every word in the Torah is perfect. It is the Torah of Hashem. Every letter is perfect. If one letter is off, the Torah is puzzled. The Torah is disqualified. So therefore, how much more so a whole sentence and you know a whole song, so to speak? How much, how important is every detail of it? That it's really the word of God. So let's go right into it. So what's so special about this verse? It says as Yashir Moshe Nesgal. It says the conjugation of this verb is very interesting. It says and then the children of it, Moses and the children of Israel will sing the song. So it should have said, and then Moses and the children of Israel sang the song, or are singing the song in the present tense. But it doesn't make sense to say, and then they will sing the song. Because you said, and then, like you're telling a story, and then, you should have said, and then they will, they, and then they did sing, and then they, they started singing, like present tense. But why are you singing in the future tense? Why did Hashem cho choose to write it like this? As Yashia, Moses, Hashem, and our sages... And this is, uh, as you know, the whole Torah was given to Moses, and also the explanations and the details in the oral Torah was also given to Moses. So the, 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 the details of this verse explain that this is a prophecy of the coming Mashiach, and more specifically of the era of the resurrection of the dead. That is why it says, and then Moses will sing the song, because it's coming to teach us that in the future to come, in the days of Mashiach, the Messianic era, Moses will sing this song once again with the entire Jewish people at large. This is something that, again, very simple, but unbelievably powerful. You see right, right openly, right in front of our eyes in the book of Exodus, Hashem is telling us that He is going to resurrect the dead. All those beautiful people that we may have lost that are seemingly not with us right now will be revived. And just like Hashem creates people every day and causes women to give birth to people every single day, so too Hashem could revive anyone from the dead immediately. There's of no difficulty at all for Hashem. Hashem could do it instantly. So when we see open verses like this, such beautiful verses, it allows us to, to definitely get excited and to, to, to mentally and emotionally prepare ourselves for the coming of Mashiach and uh, the resurrection of the dead, which is, uh, as you know, there's a, there's a couple phases to, this, to the era of Mashiach. And the ultimate, ultimate days of Mashiach, the, the complete, complete, uh, full actualized days of Mashiach will be in the day when, when the resurrection of the dead occurs. And interestingly, we see that Moses will be back, of course. And it'll be very interesting to see just all these, 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 these prophecies get me very excited because we get to think and imagine about like what it's going to be like when Mashiach will be here and Moses will also be here and all the tzaddikim will be here and all the kings of Israel will be here and the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It says the Mashiach will teach Torah to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The biggest, some of the biggest tzaddikim of all time are forefathers, the holy forefathers who had prophecies of Hashem, who who spoke to Hashem on a consistent basis, they will be taught Torah by the Mashiach. So who is this Mashiach we're talking about? It's clearly the Mashiach will be such a, such a, a powerful personality, such a, a, a strong leader, such a strong Jewish person, that he'll be able to teach Torah to such holy people like the Avos. He'll be able to even take the Avot to even greater heights. they the forefathers. So this is something very, very exciting and hopeful. And we have to, to realize the Torah we're dealing with is, is, is the Word of God. And hidden in the Torah are beautiful gems, all these incredible, incredible prophecies and Torah and beautiful verses and, 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 and hints 
and details of the coming of Mashiach and the days of Mashiach openly in the song of the Song of the Seas. It says, Az Yashir Moshe. Moshe will sing this song. Very, very interesting the choice of words that Hashem uses. So we have to we have to always appreciate the fact that the Torah of Hashem is perfect. Therefore, every word is perfect. So the fact that Hashem chose to write this song in the future tense, Moses will sing this song, is a, is, is a clear indication of Hashem prophesizing, Hashem telling us, Hashem getting us excited, hinting to us about the coming of Mashiach with the resurrection of the dead. And therefore, we must always seek to improve our behavior and get excited and, and be humble before God. Not to put ourselves down, to recognize we're doing a good job, but to realize that we can do even better because we have a part of God within us. We have a spark of God within us. It's called our soul. And therefore, however great we are right now, we have infinite potential to get even greater. And as long as, a, as the Mashiach isn't revealed, and as long as the days of Mashiach isn't revealed, so it means there's still something that has to be done. How can I make today better than yesterday? How can I make tomorrow better than today? All we have to focus on is going up. As long as we increase and we make sure to, to, to become more comfortable, more to try to make Hashem more comfortable in this world, to try to, to make Hashem a home in this world. How do we give Hashem a home in this world? The more we learn about God's Word, the more we involve ourselves in Torah, the more we learn about the Bible, the Torah, learn the stories, the details, the laws, the secrets, the more we involve ourselves in this beautiful activity, the more we make Hashem feel at home. And then we'll make that, that, that prophecy about Moses singing this song, not just a prophecy, but a reality. We'll make it actualized. We'll bring it into the physical. And we'll get to see it with our flesh. We'll get to see it with our own eyes. Moses singing this beautiful song of the sea. So when we think about these things, we'll surely be excited. We meditate intellectually on this idea. Our hearts will be aroused to repent and return to God with a, with a, with a, with a sense of joy. True repentance, true teshuva. Teshuva means to return to God and repent and fix one's past and elevate one's past has to be done with joy. Therefore, when we increase in joy, we'll bring upon ourselves the days of Mashiach. May Hashem bless you all. May it be actualized today. Hope you like the picture. If you see the cover picture, the verse of the verse of this prophecy in Exodus, I will post the exact verse.